All right, guys. So I got called out to this call for a leaky garbage disposal. Garbage disposal was leaking from the base. Um, when a garbage disposal is leaking from the base, you have to replace them. There's nothing you can do to uh, fix the leak once it's been leaking from the base. The inside of the disposal has somehow been compromised. So your only option is to replace it. Um, a new Badger 5, which is this disposal, this model disposal here, made by Insincorator, is typically about 90 bucks. <clears throat> Anywhere from 90 to 120, depending on where you pick it up at. If you get it at Home Depot, you're gonna spend about 120 bucks. Uh, if you pick it up at one of the supply houses, you spend about 90. Uh, also, if you pick it up at Home Depot, make sure you get a cord because for whatever reason, they don't come with a cord. You can get the Home Depot version, the Badger 500, which comes with the cord, but I think it's like 135 bucks, so. Your best bet is to uh, call a plumber and have whatever plumber you call bring a disposal for you to your house. Um, I definitely recommend the Badger 5. It's a half horsepower disposal very good disposal uh, the it's basically the most average disposal you'll find in most homes in Southern California um, it's half horsepower nothing special uh, not quiet nothing like that uh, no stainless steel insides it's your typical regular steel insides uh, with the half horsepower motor and uh, steel blades and yeah so typically they last anywhere from two to five years usually leaning closer to the five year mark and once they go they go they start leaking from the bottom and that's when it's time to replace them usually they'll jam once or twice and then either the leak will be caused when you unjam it or the leak will be caused when the disposal jams itself. Uh, it's whatever it is jamming on, or oftentimes it's just rust inside the disposal that the disposal is jamming on. So once they get to that point, it's just time to replace them. Uh, most plumbers should only charge you anywhere between you know 250 and 350 for this job. And that includes the part. Uh, that's part and service fee, labor, everything. If they're trying to charge you more than that for a Badger 5, I would definitely get a second opinion. Um, if they're going with something, you know, with more horsepower or something like that, I would recommend the uh, Pro Evolution Series. Get the one that has the stainless steel insides. It'll last you twice as long. Um, I can't remember exactly what model it is right now, but I know it's the Pro Evolution series. Um, it's the red one, or maroonish color one, that you're going to be looking for if you want the stainless steel insides. And I believe it's either three-quarter horse or a full horsepower. And the nice thing about that disposal is if it ever jams, it kicks itself into reverse. It's a pretty cool little feature that it has. It's also extremely quiet. Um, I caution you, if you do put put it in, uh, warn your family, warn anybody who's gonna potentially be using it, that it's so quiet, it does sound similar to a jammed Badger 5. So, um, you know, that is one thing that's always concerned me a little bit for elderly people and things like that who can't really hear that well. I don't want one of my customers jamming their hand down the disposal thinking that it's jammed you know a lot of people you'd be surprised just shove their hands in the disposal when they think it's jammed it's mind-blowing um, so yeah basically you pull apart the p-trap um, I always loosen the nut that's on the disposal 90 and then the bottom nut of the p-trap and then just pull it down from there this one, this sink happens to have a two-part waist, so you have to 
loosen up the two-part waist as well. Um, the part that attaches to the flange tailpiece on the other uh, side of the sink. Um, I'm not going to be changing the strainer on this one. I will at some point do a demonstration on how to change a uh, dispose an insincorator disposal strainer. Um, it's not really that difficult, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to, you know, it can be. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to, I could walk you through it in a video. Uh, it be very easy for you. So right now I'm reattaching the uh, disposal hose, the dishwasher hose to the disposal. That's where the dishwasher drains through. It goes up through the air gap on the countertop and then back down through this black rubber hose into the disposal. And that's where your dishwasher drains out to. Now most people think your disposal is like a uh, like a trash compactor or something like that. They think that they can just shove everything down there, you know, popsicle sticks and fucking tree branches and grocery bags and I've seen it all. The disposal is not meant to be taking things down like that. It, we, it's not even really meant to be taking food down. It's more of like if you have, you know, a real messy dinner and, you know, you guys scrape your plates off, the, the last scrapings go down the disposal. But no, you're not supposed to be peeling fucking potatoes or peeling vegetables and or, you know, throwing lettuce down the disposal. It's going to clog. Same with rice. Same with pasta. Any of that shit is going to clog your disposal. So be aware. I mean, look how small those drain lines are, guys. Rice, pasta noodles. Any type of noodles or rice is going to swell. As soon as it hits that pea trap, it's going to sit there and swell. And then you're going to get a clog. So then you're going to have to call me. Then you're going to be paying money. Nobody likes paying money, right? Wish there was a different way to pay other than money. Right, guys? All right. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful, safe day. This is Chris your favorite plumber from California, sunny Southern California. Boom, we're gone.